all of Hollywood in full panic mode after what famous singer's sick list shows she's exposing today. For years, many Hollywood actors, singers, and models have come forward to accuse high-powered executives in the entertainment industry of sexual misconduct. Of course, the mainstream media and fans dismiss those allegations as actors just looking for their extra 15 minutes of fame. However, that has turned out not to be the case since the Harvey Weinstein bombshell scandal broke last week. If that was not shocking enough, another famous singer has stepped forward claiming to reveal more disgusting sexual depravity in the industry that has Hollywood in a panic. As the Harvey Weinstein scandal unfolds, the Hollywood elite are running for cover in an attempt to distance themselves from the massive fallout. Now, to add more fuel to the fire, Former pussycat doll Kaya Jones has come forward with explosive new claims of sexual abuse in the industry. Jones states in a series of tweets on Twitter that she and her bandmates were nothing more than high-end prostitutes that were forced to sell their bodies and souls to power brokers within the entertainment industry. And now as the Weinstein scandal continues to unfold with new accusations being revealed daily. Jones has said that she has a journal that details the predatory sexual behavior and is ready to name names. Here is more from Hollywood Life. Kaya Jones, a former pussycat doll, claims the group was a prostitution ring for Hollywood's elite. She alleges that the members were sexually and mentally abused, drugged up, underpaid, and more. Kaya Jones, a former member of the Pussycat Dolls from 2003 to 2005, claims the group was sexually abused, which is one of the reasons she had to leave the fame and $13 million record deal. In a series of critical tweets over the weekend, Jones alleged that the group's members were a prostitution ring. Oh and we happen to sing and be famous. While everyone who owned us made the dollar, she wrote. How bad was it? People ask, bad enough that I walked away from my dreams, my bandmates and a $13 million record deal. We knew we were going to be number one, Jones continued. Her tweets went on to allege that the girls were used as leverage, for inappropriate behavior. To be a part of the team you must be a team player. Meaning sleep with whoever they say, Jones claimed. If you don't they have nothing on you to leverage. Yes I said leverage. Meaning after they turn you out or get you hooked on drugs they use it against you. Correct. Victimizing the victim again. Jones also shed light on the den mother from hell, of the group. However, she didn't name exactly who that was. I want the den mother from hell to confess why another one of her girl group girls committed suicide. Tell the public how you mentally broke us. Fans immediately alleged that Jones was referring to GRL singer, Simone Battle, who committed suicide in September 2014. Nonetheless, Jones did not confirm who her comments were about. She went on to claim that she has allegedly been warned that if she talked she would end up dead or with no career in Hollywood. That's why I have so much respect for our military. I've been through way. But my scars you can't see. At least Rio War is honest. Why don't we report it? Because we were all abused. I personally have been warned if I tell I will. You know end up dead or no more career. Jones also added, Robin, Anne and the record label made all the money. We as pussycat dolls were paid $500 a week. While we were being abused and used. Fact. Robin Ann, mentioned in Jones' tweet, is the founder of the pussycat dolls. These accusations of sexual abuse in Hollywood are nothing new. In fact, former child star Corey Feldman has been saying for years that Hollywood is nothing more than a sex and pedophile ring. Feldman's best friend and also former child star Corey Haim took his own life in 2010 after saying that he was sexually abused by high-powered Hollywood executives. The claims these women are making need to be taken seriously to root out the evil that has taken over this industry. If there are people in Hollywood that who to be arrested for sexual abuse and pedophilia, then they need to be found and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law before anyone else is hurt, is hurt.